What do you think is the biggest achievement of eco schools? Um, I'd say probably uh, gaining the Green Flag Award because we put a lot of work and effort into uh, achieving that. Uh, it took a, quite a few years to try and change the mindset of the students in the school. Um, the fact that it was like a combination of factors, so it was we had to be litter free, mm -hmm. um, we had to do recycling. Um, particularly, I'm proud of the paper recycling. What impact has eco schools had on the school community? Well, I think particularly for us, uh, because we've been involved since we were in year seven, um, we've seen it trickle down through the other years, so now the incoming year sevens um, have got a different mindset to what the rest of our year would have had. What does the future hold for eco schools? Uh, well, I think we need to make sure that standards are maintained within uh, conserving energy and litter, dropping, all that kind of thing. Um, and make sure that students aren't just doing it because they're told to, but they feel it's the right thing that they should be doing. What have been the biggest achievements of School Council? Well, one of the main achievements that I'm personally very proud of as I've worked, helped work towards it is the Rights and Responsibility Award to do with UNICEF. If you don't know what this is, it's where we look at the article of the rights of the child and we create, I guess, a set of rules um, that our school has to follow. And we check that each right that the child has is being met in our school. What does the school council plan to do in the near future? Well, currently we're working with the local council to improve teen or youth image. As many people find that, or, or they believe actually, especially the older generations, believe that youths don't have a clear idea of what's best for them or what's best for their community. We're also setting up a peer mentor system where we are going to have role models for younger students that can provide a guide to school life. Student-led group aiming to educate our school about world issues supported by the international organisation Oxfam. We felt that was a really big problem and we wanted to help to sort it. People in Syria have had issues surrounding homelessness, they've had lack of clean water and food, lack of sanitation and so many people have lost family and friends. Mm -hmm.